Good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Maybe you recognize this ad and you have seen it a lot on your phone. Today we've got something special in store. I bought some tools from my workshop from Timo, which I want to show you. I'm excited to share my thoughts on these products and give you a real honest assessment. Let's jump right into it. First things first, the package. It came wrapped in cheap plastic. I prefer more sustainable packaging. To be honest, for me, this packaging is a no-go. Anyway, now a short overview about all products I bought. A small electronics side cutter, quick clamping clamps, a 256GB SD card from a GoPro, diamond grinding stones, a 10cm bit holder, a cabinet door closer, Sanding discs for my orbital sander, white permanent markers, aluminium T nut rails, a bevel plane, and a dowel jig for different sizes. First up, we have this small electronic side cutter, priced at just 2 euro. It's a handy tool for precision work. Initial impressions, not that bad for that price point. Now on to the quick clamping clamps. I was hoping for sturdy and reliable clamps. Unfortunately, they haven't quite met my expectations. These clamps looked much larger in the photos and don't seem to hold up well under pressure. A bit disappointing, especially considering the practical need for reliable clamps in the workshop. And I was so stupid to buy two bags of them. I paid about 8 euros for a pack. Next we have a 256GB SD card which I bought for my GoPro. However, this purchase was a bit of a letdown. Despite the advertised speed, it doesn't seem to meet the requirements for smooth recording. A bit frustrating, especially for a 15 euro investment. Moving on to the diamond grinding stones. And these seem to be quite the hidden gems, at about 6 euro each they are reasonable priced and show impressive performance so far. The true test will be their longevity, but for now they are looking promising for various workshop tasks. This 10cm bit holder caught my eye due to its budget friendly price tag of 1,80€. Even if the build quality isn't high end, it's a straightforward tool that seems to justify its costs. The cabinet door closer just costs 1 euro 80. Here a word of caution, always double check the quantity when ordering on Timo. Namely in the picture of the product were two of these closers and the quantity was one. Unfortunately I noticed this when the order was already here. <laughs> On to something familiar, white permanent markers. They seem to work fine and come in handy for making various materials. At 2 euro 50 for free it's a reasonable deal for basic workshop needs. If you're passionate about workshops and tools as I am, then don't miss out any of my upcoming content. Hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Let's create, build and innovate. Sanding discs for an orbital sander. They do the job adequately, but I must say they wear out quite quickly. For 2 euro 40 you get 15 of them, so they are not exactly long term investment. Decent quality for that price though. Now on to the aluminium T-nut rails. These rails shine in both appearance and durability. What's even more remarkable is their price. The price is around about 4 euro 50. They are two thirds cheaper than a similar option on Amazon. The quality and precision are top notch, making them a versatile addition to any project. I definitely would buy them again. Now let's talk about the chamfer or bevel plane. At 24 euro 50 it's not the cheapest tool, but it's well crafted. The blades however came quite dull. 
a quick sharpening session should make a world of difference. And I'm hopeful this plane will prove its worth once it's properly tuned. If this plane would have come with sharp blades, I would have gave him 5 stars. Saving the most intriguing for last. The Dowel Chick. Price is about 24 Euro. I put it to the test with some spruce wood stripes. While it performed well with thicker pieces, it struggled with thinner ones. But I suspect that's due to the softer nature of spruce. I saw other YouTubers how tested this chick with maple and it worked quite well for them. Also with a smaller diameter of about 6mm. Now to the conclusion to the workshop products from Timo. Some hints, a few misses, but overall it's been an interesting experience trying out these tools. Remember when shopping on Timo, always double check the description and specification to avoid any surprises. It's really possible to make a good deal on Timo. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, until next time.